A total of 1,000 Syrian refugees are now living in Scotland. It follows the arrival of 120 more refugees last week. John McManus reports from an Edinburgh community centre where some of the new arrivals are being taught English. This is the reality of life in Syria, a country which has now been at war with itself for five years. There's no sign the various factions will lay down their arms anytime soon. Thank you. For Thank some of you. those who've escaped, like these Thank refugees you. taking English classes today to. in Edinburgh, Scotland's okay. generosity has been yeah. a lifeline. When you are in a car, when you are in a car, you Passing the 1,000 person mark means that Scotland has taken about a third of the entire UK total of refugees from Syria in the last year. English lessons are just one of the classes that refugees are offered here at the Welcoming Centre. It's a skill that they'll need to get their heads round and become proficient in if they want to make a success of their time in Scotland. But one of those who's come from Syria says he may not stay forever. Maybe not now. When the Syria is, will be good, I, I will come back, yeah, because my family in Syria now, yeah. My, my sisters and my, my brother are in Syria now, yeah. Because Syria is very nice, very good, yeah. Naraz has worked in telecoms and sales, skills that Scotland can use. But does the government think that the new arrivals will avoid a culture clash? It's important that people from all different faiths and backgrounds and nationalities uh, can coexist and we have a good record uh, of that in Scotland. We can't be complacent, there's always uh, more work to do and that's why the Scottish Government uh, invests heavily in community and uh, equality organisations. Angela Constance won't put an upper limit on the number of refugees who might arrive in the coming year. Syrians are now living in almost all of the country's local authority areas. As this thank you letter to the First Minister shows, they're profoundly grateful for the safe haven they've been offered. Perhaps inevitably though, the Scottish weather has left them puzzled. As always, there's crazy here. <laughs> but, uh, I like this John McManus, reporting Scotland, in, uh, Edinburgh.